Hey guys, welcome to our channel today. Today I want to talk about why so many people are choosing to live overseas. Why so many people are choosing to live in a different country than they were born in. What are the reasons? Tell me down below, comment, and tell me what you think. What are your opinions? I would like to know. In what country, if you could, would you choose to live in? Maybe you don't see it's possible. Maybe you do see it's possible. Maybe it's a dream that you're working for, that you're working towards. Tell me if you are. Um, so, to those who say, absolutely not, I love my country and I will not leave it. I support you. I support my country. I love the country that I live in. That doesn't mean that I would, uh, wouldn't love to live in another country. Maybe your job is sending you to another country. Or maybe you have met the love of your life. Right? Maybe you've met the love of your life and you can't live without her and you've decided that it would be better for you to go there um, and marry her and so she doesn't have to leave her family, you know. Um, so that could be the situation. Or it could be that you've always dreamed of living in some tropical paradise or whatever it may be. Uh, we all have different places in mind. I'm sure many Americans would love to um, live in Hawaii. Maybe the cost of living is more expensive there. Maybe the cost of living is not an option for you. I mean, it's not um, a deterrent for you. Okay? Um, so, and so here's the thing. Maybe you can't afford to go wherever it is that you dream of going. If you dream of going anywhere. Um, but, for me... Where would I choose to go? I think you all know, if you watch my channel, would be the Philippines. The Philippines. So, my wife is from the Philippines. Um, like I said, if you watch our channel, you already know that. She's from the Philippines. And our beautiful kids are Filipino-American. Um, so, I would choose to live in the Philippines. Okay? So... Yes, I would go overseas. I would choose to retire overseas. And in fact, one day, um, we will achieve that goal. Um, so, the first step would be to do some research. Whatever place you're thinking of, if you're thinking of a, a place that you would love to retire, or you would love to, you know buy a place and spend six months out of the year there and six months out of the year here. Okay, so you need to do some research and you need to go over there and stay for a while to see how you would like it. You don't go somewhere and stay for a week and say, you know what, I'm packing my bags and and, and we're moving to another country. Now, um, I know many people that I've met when I lived in Florida, that's what they did. But Florida is not another country. It's just another part of the United States. Uh, many people have gone on vacation there, and they loved it so much, all were in agreement, and they moved to Florida, okay? Um, because, because of the beaches, perhaps. Um, the weather, you know. Well, living in another country, perhaps, is the same uh, reason that many of those that I met moved to Florida, Maybe it's the beaches, the sunny weather, the warm weather. Um, so anyway, let's get back to it. Um, I would choose to live in the Philippines, number one, because of the cost of living. The cost of living can be cheaper in the Philippines. It really depends on your lifestyle, though. In most cases, it's still going to be cheaper, no matter what your lifestyle is. 
Um, so cost of living is my number one choice. Now, whatever budget you have, you can go to the Philippines and have a nice place to live with spending only a third of your budget. Um, how would that be? Um, anyway, um, for me, food, okay? As long as I don't go out every night of the week um, and go to a different restaurant or whatever, um, I'm eating out all the time, it's not going to be cheaper, you know? Um, it's going to be more expensive. But um, I love Filipino food. My wife's a great Filipino cook, okay? Um, so that would not be an issue for me. So cost of living, housing, food, and transportation. So where I live today, in most every place I've lived, I've needed a car. You know, many times, especially here in America, you really need a car. You need a car to get to work. You need a car to go get groceries. You need a car to go to the doctor, the hospital. What if you have an emergency? How are you going to get to the hospital? Okay, you can call an ambulance. But that's a bit more expensive. But we won't get into all of that. But So transportation is cheaper over there. Will you need a car in the Philippines? I'm going to tell you, in most cases, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's my opinion. Um, and it's free. My opinion is free. Um, there's, there's different modes of transportation over there. Um, you can get a car. Um, a lot of times it's going to be cheaper. Okay? Um, you can uh, get a motorcycle. All right? You can get a variety of different types of transportation over there. All right? Um, and if you, just, if you use public transportation, um, there's the option of uh, catching a jeepney, a taxi, um, perhaps Uber. Is Uber still there? I'm not sure. Hey, comment down below if Uber is still there in the Philippines. Um, there's other rideshare companies that are available. I know um, I've seen in many videos that I've watched. However... Um, you can take a, a trike, you can take a, a motorcycle taxi. Those are all cheaper modes of transportation. Um, you can buy a scooter. Um, you can spend very little um, riding a scooter back and forth to work. Uh, if you work over there, um, if you go get some groceries, whatever it may be, um, it's much cheaper. So transportation is also cheaper. What is another reason I would move to the Philippines? Um, less stress. Okay? Less stress. So why would I have less stress? Me, why would I have less stress living in the Philippines? Well, if my cost of living is only a third of what it is here, then I'm going to be less stressed about money. Okay, um, the Philippines, the culture is so different. Um, it's less stressful. So, it's at a slower rate. It seems, that it seems as though life moves at a slower rate, okay? Now, to many Americans who are used to um, running constantly everywhere you go, um, relax. Relax. It's not the United States. It's the Philippines. Learn to relax. Learn to enjoy a stress-free lifestyle. You can do it. But it's a, it's a choice. Okay, what is another reason? Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you that people, people, Overall, I would say Filipino people are more friendly than any place I've ever been. They're more friendly. They're more willing to help you, even a stranger, 
absolutely. Um, even a stranger. I've seen it time and time again. Okay. Um, I've met people over there. Obviously, anybody I've met over there were strangers. Um, I've met Filipinos over here who uh, were strangers, but they in, have invited me in like family, like friends. Um, so, the people of the Philippines, and that makes a difference. Um, so, I love the people here, love the people at my church, but it's just a place. Um, Philippines is a place where the people are friendly, okay? Uh, you know, I can't help but say it, but you know what? Um, there are bad apples in every bunch, you know? There's a bad egg in every basket. Um, so... I'm not saying that, that, that life is, um, in another country, is, is going to be paradise, you know. There are going to be people that you run into no matter where you go. Filipino people, in general, um, are very friendly people. And, and there are also people in the South, or people in the United States, in the North and the South, East Coast and West Coast, who are very nice and friendly. But my choice would be the Philippines. Your choice may be different. These are some of the reasons that I would choose to live in the Philippines. But before I go any further, let me put um, something on top of number one. And it goes without question. But maybe, I, you know, I didn't mention it. But family, okay, family. But I would love the opportunity um, to spend more time with them. To um, just enjoy getting to know them, getting to know more about the history of the Philippines through their eyes, okay? Uh, so, anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it in the beginning. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, okay? Smash it now <laughs> in case you forgot. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time on our Filipino-American journey. Bye. Bye.